risk management, hazard identification, risk assessment, risk control, and monitoring and reviewing. So risk management is the development of workplace strategies for the purpose of eliminating or minimizing the risk of identified hazards that could potentially cause harm within a specific workplace. So essentially, each and every workplace needs to look at their own environment and identify what the issues are and then put in strategies to ensure that those issues hopefully will not cause harm to anyone that works within that workplace. Essentially, there are four stages to risk management. They go in a sequential order. So that's what we're going to look at right now. The first stage is that of identifying the hazards. Okay, a hazard identification involves inspecting a work site and seeking out the elements which contain the potential to cause harm. So what we need to do is we need to assign an individual such as the HSR or bring in someone to actually do it for us and they'll have a look around the workplace and see what other hazards could cause harm. So essentially things that might contain an electrical hazard or things that are of heavy weight, things that are flammable, things that cause trip hazards or substances that could be poisonous. A whole variety of hazards exist within the workplace and essentially we need to have them because uh, they're a part of our day-to-day -day job. We need to have these elements that could cause harm within our workplace. So first step, find the things that could potentially cause harm. And then the next step is that of the risk assessment. This involves in investigating each of these hazards within the workplace and then looking at the likelihood of them actually causing harm. What essentially happens here is we determine whether they are high risk, low risk, or somewhere within the middle. Okay, and try to put a value on them and determine are these hazards going to cause harm to the individuals that work within this workplace or anyone that comes into the workplace? And then once we've got that value, we can then move on to the next stage, which is that of risk control. Risk controls implementing methods to help eliminate or minimize potential of each of these hazards causing harm. The risk control methods selected are based on the workplace context and the previously conducted risk assessment. If something's of low risk, then we might only have to put in a small control measure in order to manage that. Whereas if something's of a high risk, we might need to reevaluate if that is actually necessary in the workplace. What guides us through risk control is the hierarchy of risk control. And as you can see there, the top and most effective is eliminating that actual hazard and getting rid of it from the workplace. But realistically, as I already said, some of these elements we need to have in the workplace in order to do our jobs. We need equipment that does have a hazard associated with them okay, in order to do our day-to-day -day tasks. So we work through the hierarchy of risk control from top to pro uh, bottom. And essentially there's three big stages, that of eliminating the risk, minimizing the risk and then other controls and we work our way down to the bottom implementing things at different stages or using multiple strategies on the risk level of a particular hazard in order to keep people safe the final stage is that of monitoring and reviewing and what we're saying here is essentially we've now put in our risk control measures let's see how they go and we this is an ongoing cyclical process Essentially, risk management never ends. We need to constantly review our workplace. Things get updated, legislation gets updated, policy and procedure gets updated, research gets updated, and we learn new things about health and safety that we need to implement in our workplace. But essentially what we're doing at this stage is, are the control measures that we're put into our place, are they effective? And we might do this annually, monthly, whatever, to ensure that the workplace stays safe because it is an ever-changing environment full of many different elements that have the potential to cause harm. So I hope you've now got a better understanding of the risk management process under those four key areas of hazard identification, risk assessment, risk control, and monitoring review.